Okay, here we are July 29th. It's been about three weeks now since the last time I showed you my garden. It was 4th of July. Corn was just a little over the knee height. So now it's six, seven feet tall, pretty much. It's doing well. Uh, my corn, I always wait till it's about 12 inches tall and I'll side dress it with blood meal. And as soon as the silk starts showing, I side dress it again. So I just did it, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before. There's a ladybug. You got ladybugs all over this corn, so that's a good thing. But you also see my soap on a rope thing here. I use Irish Spring to deter the deer. Uh, usually in the field behind my house is corn. This year they did oats. So, I think I'm having more issues with deer. I seen a pair of ears back there, and I put the soap out, and right after I put the soap that night, yeah, there's deer tracks right in my garden here. You can see, there's some more there. Here's one that's checking out my squash plant. And here's the last one I could see right here. And there's my soap. So I don't think it's working as well as I thought. But again, I was having a little concerns about my corn. I generally do uh, serendipity. It w does really well for me. And... It usually comes all at one time, and then I have this right here, and a lot of stalk that nothing. But, as you can see, it's just starting to come in. You look over here, see? And, which I guess that'd be good for me, because it'll stagger the harvest a little better. But you can see I got... This side in the front, where it gets most of the sun, grew the corn cobs a lot better. But, and I was worried that that was going to, wow, I'm not going to get very much corn. But right here, you see an ear coming there. And as I walk, come out each day, I start to notice more and more ears starting to come so I'm hoping that it takes off here's another one here there's another one there so we'll see I planted them a little too close usually I do two double rows and I use uh, usually use at least three feet between the two double rows and this time I only have about 18 inches, so half the distance. Maybe that's a, have an effect on it. I just want to let you know about that. Blood meal is awesome. It works well. It really, corn needs a lot of nitrogen, so it really helps them grow. Here's my corn. Uh, excuse me. Here's my carrots. You can see this got eaten up. That was just about a week ago, and I, I caught the woodchuck in the axe, so the 17 HMR took care of him. And, but the corn, corn, I keep wanting to, the carrots are going well. Haven't done that much weeding lately, I'm going to get it done pretty soon. But the onions are doing great. You 
can see they're all coming up pretty nice. Tomatoes, they're growing well. Got to stay out here and keep an eye on them. Keep feeding them through. So mesh that I use. Again, I use a six by six concrete reinforcement mesh, and uh, it's strong. It stays. I stake it out here. You can see I use these stakes wire them here and at the bottom they, no wind is going to blow them over I've had tomato plants grow these are almost growing out but I've seen them grow foot or better through the top and they're over five feet they're about five feet tall I guess and uh they don't even sag or nothing so Let me see. And you can see in here. See now, they look like plum tomatoes. And I bought, what do you call them, uh, Early Girls and Better Boys. But these two tomato plants here are going to be plum tomatoes. Romas, whatever. And I'm not happy about that, but got plenty of tomatoes in here. None of them coming ripe yet. So, we'll see. And here's my squash plant. All oh, two. Getting, starting to get squash. Here's one here. Here's a little bit better one right there. And if you come on over here, we got one coming in right there. There's a nice one right there, and there's another one over here somewhere. But they're, they're coming in. And again, this is two plants. The one plant was eaten pretty bad. Pretty much all this is, from over here all the way around, this is all one plant. This one arm right here, and that little one there, is the second plant. That one was eaten right back to almost nothing. So, here's the potatoes. Well, I don't know what's going on underneath the dirt, but hopefully we're going to have some good batch of uh, potatoes. Here's my cantaloupe. Really took off. And this was eaten back too, so it's set back quite a bit. But if you look underneath here, there's a cantaloupe right there. There's a few littler ones. I can't, they're hard to find sometimes. I don't always see them right away. I don't know where. There's smaller ones in here, but here's here's a nice one. There's another nice one. And there's a pair of nice ones right there. But there's other ones in here. There's another little one right in there. They're hard to see, but they're there. And peppers are doing good. They're just about ready to be picked. I'm going to wait a couple days. Is that grass or bug? Can't tell. Grass. I don't know what it is. But anyway, here we got a couple nice ones there. Real nice one. That one's ready to go. I'll give it a couple days. That way I'll have a bunch of them to have sausage, onion, and peppers. Here's some more. Bunch of little ones on this one that's good and there's all kinds on this one so it's looking real good still contributing to my compost a lot of uh, coffee grounds eggshells uh, 
vegetable scraps from the kitchen. I got a few uh, clam shells in there too. They've been there for years. Eh, I think they contribute but very little, but it's something. I'll just keep them in there. We'll see how it goes. Got to start shooting and uh, get all practice up. Everything's going well except for my celery, of course, but uh, another major ingredient in my venison stew is venison, so I got to get practicing. My tree swallows moved on. Black walnut tree is getting a lot of not a bumper crop, but they're getting quite a few uh, walnuts on there. That's good because I like to see the squirrels out here. And I used to eat them, but it's a lot of work, so I might put a few. I usually just hang them in a onion bag and let them dry. And after they're completely dried out, I'll crack a few and eat. They're very good at taste to it. They're very strong like walnut taste to it. Apple tree, got a few apples on it. Again, they're not looking too good, but I don't spray. What I'll do is I'll wait. Usually if on a good year, I'll get enough apples to make an apple pie. I'll pick through them, you know, and get just enough to make a... I see it's got rust on it and everything. I'm not too fussy. If I can peel it and the inside looks good. It's good enough for me. Well, girls, I already collected eggs. He gave me two eggs this morning. Well, apparently they don't think I brought them any snacks because usually they mob me. <laughs> okay. Here's the blueberries. Hmm. I'm constantly snacking on them. It takes me an extra 15 minutes to mow the lawn. As soon as I come through here, I gotta stop every time and eat some blueberries. But the birds are putting a beating on it too. Hmm. Love to take these in and put some whipped cream on them and just eat them just like this in a bowl with whipped cream. Mm. Well, let's check on the grapes. Well, here's my grapes. Got a, lot, a ton of grapes in here. And again, I, I don't spray them. I don't do anything to them. I just let them go as it is. And I basically just snack on these. A little nice snack in the fall. I was thinking about trying them on Fisher, too. They got a very strong smell. And I think if uh, I get some really ripe ones, and I might try to put them uh, in a box, too, to a sweet lower like we'll see but there's an update on my garden <laughs>